So we got our images. This is great. And then I think that we can make this bold. Let's do that. Class font bold. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And I think we can make it capital letter also. So we can say uppercase. Go. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. So you see how easy it was, right, to go ahead and put all of the images there and next is already taking care of the uh, image optimization. So if you check network, refresh, you can see that these are actually so low in size, right? 14 KB, 33 KB, so pretty low in size. However, the actual image, so let's say this image, let's see what's the actual size of this image right that's your unsplash scaled let's go back so you can see that the size of this image is actually 185 kb but it has it has reduced that size so next js is reduced it's outputting a reduced size for that correct just 14 kb which is amazing really superb so we'll let next years handle all the images so let's check the responsiveness so looking great perfect okay all right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the price for the products as well. So let's do that. Let's update this padding first So make it PY. And then inside of the products, I should have products available. Let's take a look what do we have. Okay, so when we talk about price, we do have price, but what we are looking for is the price HTML and not price, right? And the reason for this is because if we use the price HTML, then we are going to automatically get the currency as well. Okay, so let's do that. So that's your heading. So we'll say div and then closing tag because we're going to use the dangerously set in HTML. Dangerously set inner HTML and this will be HTML and product. And we have to use sanitize. So sanitize product dot price html what was it price underscore html html okay let's take a look there we go so now we have the price available as well so if you go down we can see that the price is being displayed as well which is brilliant and you can see that it, this is also cancelled out in case if there's a discount so which means that it really works well for us and we don't have to handle that part it is done automatically what we could do is that we could possibly add a style over here uh, which i'll probably do that uh, later and uh, make this a bit different like this can be a green color this can be red color or something just to make it stand out but we can do that later okay so in the next video we're going to start adding the add to cart functionality all right i'm sure you're pretty excited about it and i am as well so if you did like the video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do follow me on github my github handle is imran h sayed and do start my repository to support my work my my repository my repository address is next js woocommerce rest api and do follow me on Twitter. And do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.